10 Terrifying Things Seen Up Close Number 10. Tapeworm Head If you're unfortunate enough to ingest a tapeworm egg, the creature is able to hatch and then hook onto your small intestine to take all of the nutrients it needs from the waste material that passes by it. More common in children than adults, it's surprisingly easy to get one, and the odds are increased in areas of poor hygiene and where other animals are present. You've probably seen images of fully grown specimens that have been removed from a patient, and if that's not horrifying enough, just wait till you see what they're like up close. This image of the head of a tapeworm shows how well adapted they are to latch on to your insides. And although those might look like eyes, they are, in fact, suckers that further help them to stay in position. No wonder it's so difficult to get rid of them. Number 9. Dental Plaque Dentists always tell us how important it is to brush our teeth, and if you ever had a cavity, you'll know how painful the consequences of failing to maintain proper dental hygiene are. Plaque is constantly building up on our teeth, though, and it's virtually undetectable unless you've been really bad and are starting to notice a furry feeling on the surface. The truth of plaque, however, is far more disgusting than you might realize, and after seeing these images, you probably won't forget to brush tonight. Here you can see carpets of plaque forming on teeth, which have been colored by dyes to make them more visible. Some appear to be spherical balls, while other images look more like alien vegetation. The further you zoom in, the more terrifying it becomes. Plaque is formed by bacteria and latch onto your teeth, and if you look closer, you can actually see them crawling around in colonies, eating particles from the teeth, and then releasing plaque as a waste product. Number 8. Kidney Stone More than 1 in every 10 people will be affected by a kidney stone at some point in their lives, and depending on the severity, they can be extremely painful. They're formed in the kidneys by high concentrations of waste products, often as a result of failing to drink enough water, and turn into stone-like lumps. Unfortunately, there's usually only one way that these leave the body, and it's through the same path that other waste liquid exits. That sounds painful enough, but just take a look at what the surface of a kidney stone looks like under a microscope. Instead of being like a small stone, they're actually covered in sharp, jagged spikes. This is because they're made up mainly of calcium and uric acid crystals, which naturally form in these shapes. Just imagine that scraping along as it leaves your body, and you'll understand why passing kidney stones is said to be one of the most painful things a person can experience. Number 7. Cat's Tongue Have you ever been licked by a cat and wondered why it feels like it's scratching you? After all, their tongues look fleshy and soft, with cone-shaped bumps across them. When you see their tongues up close, though, you realize that it's no surprise they have such a raspy sensation. That's because the bumps are, in fact, claw-shaped hooks, all pointing in the same direction. While this may seem like a supremely evil adaptation, it's actually incredibly clever. Normally, the hooks lay flat against the tongue, but when they lick, the hooks stand up. This becomes particularly useful when they're grooming and helps to remove loose fur without it getting stuck in their throat. And the hooks are also able to rotate, which allows cats to quickly untangle knots that may have formed. Furthermore, they also use water tension to hold a small amount of saliva on the tip of each spike, which is distributed across their body as they lick. This is a vital process for them to keep themselves clean, and something that's used by virtually every species of cat, both domestic and wild. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. Caterpillar When you see a caterpillar in your garden or out in a field, they appear quite cute as they crawl across leaves. They tend to be too small to be able to really focus in on what they truly look like, though, and the truth might change your view of countryside walks forever. This close-up image of an oak processionary caterpillar is a typical example of what the face of a caterpillar looks like. This species is found across Europe, has two pairs of legs, and is potentially quite dangerous. The fine hairs, called setae, are poisonous and are particularly irritating for those who suffer from respiratory issues like asthma. Beyond the alien appearance, this species behaves strangely, too. It gets its name, the processionary caterpillar, because during the early summer, they move around together in large colonies, in lines, where they're queued up nose to tail. 
Number five, fly foot. There are estimated to be more than a million different species of fly, with only 125,000 having so far been described. And there's something that you're likely to encounter virtually anywhere you go in the world. They have movable heads with two large compound eyes, a mouth that is designed to lick, suck, or pierce skin to get the nutrients they need to live, and wings that give them a great deal of maneuverability. One part of a fly that you may not have paid much attention to is their legs and feet. However, they're highly adapted to allow insects to hold on to smooth surfaces. And this image shows just how complex the design that enables them to do so actually is. The pads are covered in fine hairs that can fit into and latch onto imperfections on any surface and gives grip where you'd otherwise think it was impossible. Just remember, the next time a fly lands on you, it's not just their mouths you need to be aware of. It's these feet that'll be touching you too. Number four, strawberry. Strawberries are fruits that are enjoyed by people around the world, but there's a problem. They aren't actually fruits at all. They aren't even berries and are instead known as aggregates from the plant's receptacle where the flower's organs grow around a thickened part of the stem. Each strawberry is, in effect, a collective mound of ovaries, and it's only when you see one up close that this makes sense. Each of the yellowy red things are called achenes, and despite looking like a seed, they are actually fruits. Inside every achene is one seed, and a strawberry is made up of more than 100 of them. Of course, none of this makes strawberries any less delicious, and means that you're eating far more individual fruits in each bowl than you realized. Number three, human eye. One of the first things that we as humans notice when we meet new people are their eyes. It's where we tend to look when we're talking to each other and one of the most important features that we can use to tell how the other person is feeling. Luckily, we only see people's eyes from a distance though, because if we saw them any closer, we'd probably spend most of our lives actively avoiding looking at them. These extreme close-ups show eyes in a completely different way. You probably learned in biology that the pupil at the center is the hole through which light enters, but it's only when you see images like this that it becomes clear that it's actually a hole. Furthermore, there's a lot more going on with the colored iris. It's not flat and is instead full of ridges and bumps. What's amazing is that each person's eye has its own unique shape in a similar way to how our fingerprints are. And while many share similar structures, no two are anything like each other. Number two. Cymex Lextularius. This next close-up looks like concept art from an alien movie, but rather than being a vomiting extraterrestrial, it is a species of insect known as Cymex Lectularius, more commonly called a bed bug. Yes, that's right, these are the creatures that we spend all night sleeping alongside, which is a horrific thought. Bed bugs prefer to feed on human blood, and the tube hanging from its mouth is what it uses to pierce the skin and drink. The life cycles of bed bugs get even more terrifying, though, as the same appendage is used during mating. For these critters, reproduction doesn't come with the fun parts that other animals in the bed might enjoy. Instead, the male uses this needle-like structure to pierce the abdomen of the female and inject directly into her bloodstream, a process that, understandably, is called traumatic insemination. Number 1. Parasite Microscopic creatures develop unique and terrifying ways to survive, but probably the worst of all is the schistosome parasite. They live inside freshwater snails, but when the time's right, they emerge into the surrounding water. They wait for a mammal, such as a human, to pass by and latch on with their sucker before burrowing through the skin and into the blood. Here, they remain and feed on nutrients from the bloodstream while they grow. Eventually, as mature worms, they lay their eggs in the blood vessels, and then they may even begin to burrow out. While they look disgusting, the real problem is the consequences of laying their eggs inside the body. They can soon infest major organs and cause a whole range of medical conditions, from breathing and digestion problems to seizures, paralysis, and learning difficulties. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.